day everyone and um, you've probably seen in my previous video on the TX950 demo how the selectivity in this tuner wasn't very good. Well in this video we're going to be changing the IO filters to make it much more selective in the narrow mode. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be swapping out the stock IO filters and installing the 110 kilohertz Murata filters, these little fellas. Get the camera focus on it. Okay, here I've already got the top off, exposing the circuit board, and it's pretty easy to change IO filters, and you can do it even without a schematic diagram and even without any advanced electronic skills like my skills are pretty rudimentary. Of course, always remember to unplug it first because you don't want to kill yourself, trick it yourself. But in terms of looking at the circuit board here. Ceramic filters in most tuners are usually blue in colour and you can usually identify them Easy to identify them there even without the schematic diagram you can see clearly these are the IF filters and this tuner uses I think three or four I think four filters both for wide and narrow but what we're going to be doing is I'm only going to be changing the narrow ones so I'm only going to be replacing two out of these four filters and the two filters for narrow from the literature that I've read is this one and this one is used for narrow whereas this one and this one over here is used for the wide setting on the tuner so I'm going to be replacing that filter and that one there so I thought I'd zoom in a bit just to give you a closer look at the filters and it's that one there that one there and that one there but the other ones out of the shot up the top here. One, two, three, and four. So to remove the circuit board, all you need to do is undo these clips, like there's one there, one there, one there. There's two screws in on the side here, and just the screws on the back so that all these connectors can come through. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight screws on the back, two in there, and those clips. And the circuit board should come out. So pretty easy to get this one out. In, uh, when I had the camera off, I just realised instead of unscrewing all those, I just unscrew the back panel itself and release the power supply, and then I can get up in and under the board there. So that's a better way of doing it. Sometimes it can be a little bit tricky to locate where those three feet are from underneath. So often it helps to look for landmarks. So here. We've got big rows of components here. So looking underneath, big rows of components here. So the three feet must be that one just in there, right next to. So there, one there. It'll be those three there. So it's like a right Another there. important thing to remember is that most of these filters have got writing on one side and blank on the other. So you've got to make a mental note to yourself which side of the writing is on these filters on the board before you pull them out. So I can see that the text is facing that way. So when I'm putting in the new Murata filters to make sure the writing is that on that side facing that way, you don't want to put them in back to front. So when I'm removing the old filters, what I do is I just use the soldering iron and try and touch it on all three feet until it softens enough. Using the long nose pliers, just gently tugging, and out the filter comes. So that's the first of the old blue filters to come out. So now what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to solder those three feet. Soldered the first filter in. So now I'm going to try and remove the second filter. So I get my long nose pliers. So I can tug it gently as I hit it. Get the soldering iron. Okay, so that's the second of the blue filters I'm going to change over. It's what that one's out. Okay, so now I just need to solder those three legs. Done. 
Well, that seems to look okay. So that's the two filters in that I want to change. So now it's a matter of just getting it all back together and testing it out to see if it works. Okay, so the moment of truth has arrived. Will the tuner power up or will we have a burnout? Let's find out. Power it up okay. It's in the narrow mode, so it's working. It's in the wide mode, it's in the narrow filter. Certainly a lot more improved than before. Looks like the narrow filter upsets the CSL circuit a bit. It's not bad, it could be a little bit better, but probably because I only changed two of the filters instead of all four. Had I changed all four filters, we might have got improved selectivity. But I think it's definitely an improvement over before though. And in case you're wondering, that clock was something my father built back in the 1970s. So that digital clock that he made is still working after nearly 50 years. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video and hope it gave you some interesting tips if you ever want to modify your tuner yourself. So I'll catch you next time.